Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age Inquisition where last time we made our way to Skyhold so here we are uh, it's been a while since I've played we have some people to talk to things to do a castle to explore but the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go to the hinterlands and immediately go back to Skyhold. Here we are again. And the reason for that is very simple. Uh, Skyhold changes every time you leave and you come back or after major story missions uh, but first time you get to skyhold a whole lot of it is closed off including as you can see down there uh, towards the stables and your own quarters are off limits Word is the courts in Royale are full to bursting. and it is in your own quarters that you can change your clothes so, that's what we are going to do now. That's why I wanted to leave and come back to open this up. I'm not sure if I have any mods for my, spared no expense. my outfit here. I don't think so. Um, which should we go for? I don't like the formal wear. I do like the outer wear. Ace Vigil. Also like the armors. I think Ace Vigil for now is a good one. Nice and white, some red accents, high boots, excellent. So that's much better than the beige pyjamas. Uh, there is nothing else to do here at the moment, so let's get back down and let's go and talk to some of our companions and see what they think of Griffius. So who is first? Should we talk to... Josephine first. I think we should. I've made some inquiries into the Imperial Court. The sooner we deal with the threats to the Empress, the better. The political situation in the Empire is dangerously unstable. It will complicate matters. Everything in the Empire complicates matters. It's the Orlesian national pastime. Turn your nose up at the grand game if you like, Commander. But we play for the highest stakes, and to the death. The court's disapproval can be as great a threat as the Venatori. We must be vigilant to avert disaster. Exactly what do you mean? How is it more dangerous than usual? The Empress is in the middle of a civil war. Her cousin, Grand Duke Gaspard, seeks to take her throne by force. Leliana reports that a group of elves has been sabotaging both armies, drawing out the hostilities. Orle holds Tevinter at bay. All of Tedas could be lost if the Empire falls to Corypheus. Selene is holding peace talks under the auspices of a grand masquerade. Every power in Orle will be there. It's the perfect place for an assassin to hide. We need to attend this ball. I'll arrange for an invitation at your discretion, Inquisitor. Excellent. Inquisitor, I was just inspecting our new headquarters. Foundation cracks, nesting animals, and miles from any centers of civilization. The staff must make it presentable if we are to receive any visitors of distinction. Our allies shouldn't expect luxuries when they sign on to fight the first dark spot. There is a difference between luxury and a building with no holes in the walls. 
The Templars will be scrutinizing your leadership. They should feel secure here. Do you not feel safe here? I've had difficulty forgetting Corypheus's attack on Haven. Do you know who first left to arms? Our workers. They were so proud of our cause. Corypheus simply cut them down. So much screaming after that first blast of fire. So many people turned to ash. I can't permit bad memories to influence the job we must do. A proper example to set for those still alive. Well, before I return to my duties, allow me to congratulate you on your appointment as Inquisitor, my lady. Thank you. I will now bring diplomatic issues to your attention. And I'm more than happy to help with any situations that arise. I'm loath to part from such pleasant company. Would you care to walk the castle with me? Oh, well, a tour then? Let me fetch the steward. That <laughs> isn't precisely what I was hoping for. Good mm, well, night. Let me know if you change your mind. Now I must find someone to prepare the guest quarters. All right. Thank you, Josephine. Dorian, are you already up here? No. You are. Do we have some research? We probably have. You're trying to restore order in a world gone mad? That should be enough for anyone to handle, yes? Then, out of nowhere, an archdemon appears and kicks you in the head. What? You thought this would be easy? No, I was just hoping you wouldn't crush our village like an anthill. Sorry about that. Archdemons like to crush, you know. Can't be helped. Am I speaking too quickly for you? I was distracted. That's all. Distracted? By my wit and charm, I have plenty of both. How interesting to find someone so aware of his strengths. I'm a man of many talents. What can I say? I always assumed the elder one behind the Venatori was a magister. But this is something else completely. In Tevinta, they say the Chantry's tales of magisters starting the blight are just that. Tales. But here we are. One of those very magisters, a dark spawn. Who does the Imperium say started the blight? You know how it is, not us. They say dark spawn were always there. Magisters and the blight aren't even related. Is that a surprise? No one wants to admit they shit the bed. But if Corypheus is one of the magisters who entered the Black City and he's dark spawn, what other explanation is there? We only know what Corypheus claims to be. True. He might be a convincing liar, or delusional, or insane. But how many delusional maniacs are going to have that knowledge? He broke open the Fade. I knew what I was taught couldn't be the whole truth. But I assumed there had to be a kernel of it. Somewhere. But no. It was us all along. We destroyed the world. Last I checked, the Blights hadn't actually destroyed the world. Not for lack of trying. If they were more clever, they'd have unleashed something that would really do the job. <laughs> I have no intention of letting Corypheus win. Not without someone from Tevinter standing against him. It would have been nice if you'd helped stop Alexius. But that's not how things went. So be it. If it's all the same to you, I'd like to stay and help the Inquisition. You'd really fight your own countrymen. Southerners like to think of the Imperium as nothing but slavers and cultists. Why not? That's all you see. But it's not true. Some Tevinters are not only handsome and well-dressed, but rather put off by all that rot. So I'll happily kill cultists or anyone who thinks a Darkspawn god is the way of the future.
We can use all the help we can get. No one will thank me, whatever happens. No one will thank you, either. You know that, yes? That's not why I'm doing this. I knew there was something clever about you. All I know is this. Corypheus needs to be stopped. Men like him ruined my homeland. I won't stand by and let him ruin the world. Oh, and congratulations on that whole leading the Inquisition thing, by the way. All right. Thank you, Dorian. Veil. Very nice. Um, let's see if we can talk to Liliana. I'm sorry. So am I. The names of those we lost. You must blame me for this. Now that you mention it. We all saw who attacked us. We know exactly who to blame. I keep wondering if I could have done something different. When the first of my lookouts went missing, I pulled the rest back, awaiting more information. If they'd stayed in the field, they could have bought us more time. I was afraid to lose my agents. And instead, we lost Haven. More likely, they would have stayed out there, died, and we would have lost Haven anyway. You don't know that. Their lives could have bought Haven a small chance. My people know their duty. They know the risks. They understand that the Inquisition may call upon them to give their lives. Our people aren't tools to be used and discarded. Your instincts were right. Their lives matter. Can we afford such sentimentality? What if Corypheus? We are better than Corypheus. Our agents have encountered more followers of Corypheus, these so called Venatori. Their leader, Calpernia, has them searching elven ruins. For what, mm. I do not know. I propose we stop the Venatori before they find what they seek. Do you know anything about Calpurnia? Only that Calpurnia is a name from ancient Tevinter legend. An unusual one. She was a priestess of Dumat, foster mother to the founder of the Imperium. A name like that is meant to assure the Venatori they follow in the footsteps of legends. We must prove them wrong. What strategy do you have in mind? A subtle approach. These Venatori have been shadowing a merchant called Vicinius on Calpurnia's orders. They've investigated his finances, surveyed his warehouses. I propose that you meet with Vicinius. Flatter him. Find out what he knows of Calpurnia. Vicinius sounds like a Tevinter name. Born in Tallow. Although he claims to be from Virantium, he sells rare oils in amber and prefers red wine to white. What side of the bed does he sleep on? He's unremarkable. I cannot think why Calpurnia would care. What if Vicinius is as much in the dark as we are? It never hurts to eliminate an avenue of inquiry. And we should tread lightly with the Venatori. They have contacts and spies, just as we do. The sooner you speak with Vicinius, the better. Flattery doesn't work. I'll try something stronger. As bards say, begin with the sweetest verse. Vicinius could be a most helpful friend. I'll make arrangements for you to visit his summer home in Valrayo. Hopefully, your attention should be enough to pique his interest. We'll have Calpurnia's secrets yet. All right. Anything out here? I don't think so. It's just like looking at the view sometimes.
mountains, the sun behind them, a little bit of fog, some cloud coverage, real nice. Anyway, we talked to Liliana, we talked to Dorian. Um, don't want to go talk to Solus just yet. Vivian, do you have anything to say? Uh, Vivian? Oh, you're not here yet. You're still in the courtyard. Okay. Construction report. Excellent. Then let's head out into the courtyard. But I do see Sarah over here. So let's go talk to her for a bit. It is Inquisitor now, right? It is. Remember that war we talked about stopping? Full of little badges I can stick with little arrows. That's not a friggin' archdemon, is it? No, it is not. Stay, what do I step in? Let me know what she says. I could use some clarification myself. It's swearing, not praying. She doesn't answer. Not like she's supposed to. I know what happened to Isn't you. Isn't she? Or what everyone here thinks happened. It seems... I don't know what it seems. I can't help if you don't explain what's wrong exactly. It's got to be nonsense, doesn't it? What kind of screwed if it isn't? I mean, that Kariffi thing. A magister, right? Story is, he cracked the Golden City. But that's a hazy dream. If not, Seat of the Maker real thing. A seat needs a book, so the maker, real thing. Fairy stories about the start and end of the world, real things. It's too much, isn't it? How pretty are you that I actually think this shite is possible? <laughs> you joined to help the little people caught up in this, but do you believe or not? In Andraste? Of course. But you doubt what you're seeing and hearing? It can't be true, true. Even fanatics don't want to be this right. Look, I have arrows. I can make this Carifalus believe in those. Good enough? Please be good enough. Good enough for now. I like to hear this. The pretty part. Not the overwhelmed by everything part. Oh sure, don't mind the bung rip through the heavens, love. Primp and toss and all is well. What I want is to get everything back to business as usual. A nice simple system with simple problems. Helps me, helps people, helps you. In that order, for now. I'm hoping you'll stick around. Never know what might interest you. You're just so smooshy, little Herald. Hmm. All right, that was Sarah. Ah, there you are. Have you met this friend of Varric's, Inquisitor? Not yet, no. It had better not be who I think it is. I will wring that little bastard's neck. Why? Who do you think it is? Someone Varric claimed he could not contact. Someone the Inquisition, indeed all of Thedas, desperately needed. I'll reserve judgment until I know for certain. No need to have that rogue screaming persecution yet again. Right. That's, That's enough, enough for now. now. Another time, then. Bull! Inquisitor, huh? Well, you've got the fortress for it. Speaking of which, when you've got a second, there's something I want to show you. What did you want me to come see? Here, come on. I'll show you. Why am I dressed like this? You'll see. Come on, it'll be worth your time, I promise. Evening. Iron Bull. My merc band just joined up. Tanner. I'm from Jader. Well, near Jader. Mira. I was guard captain for Lady Pendel. Signed on after shit blew up at the Conclave. Share a drink? Who's your friend? This is Grim. She doesn't talk much. Say little. Mm. So, you ready to kill some demons? <laughs> Those legs. <laughs> They're not reaching the ground. Asshole is. This isn't just about killing. We're helping the Inquisitor save the world and build the next empire. 
Uh-huh. Well, long as I get paid, I'm happy. That's why I signed up. I just couldn't spend my whole life on a farm. Needed to live a little, you know. What about you, Mira? Why'd you join up? I thought you were serving some noble. I saw what happened at Haven. The Inquisitor staring down that monster and his archdemon. I don't sing the chant of light as much as I should. But you can't see something like that and not believe. Well, Grim and I should find our tents. Thanks for the drink. I know every soldier under my command. You don't have that option. But a few faces might help. You made it sound like you didn't like the Inquisition. People don't always tell the truth when you're polite. You've got to poke them a bit. But those two soldiers might think you're an asshole. So? It was good to get their perspective. Yeah. Sounds like we could use an easy win for boys like Tanner. And vets like Mira have seen enough to be wary. You've got a good army coming along. Remember that. No matter what comes next. Right. Scout Harding. Your worship. Scout Harding, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be out there scouting? In a bit. We're in Skyhold for supplies and a change of personnel. Not me, though. Indispensable. <laughs> so, who's Scout Harding, really? Me? Oh, I'm no one. Lived near Redcliffe all my life. Herded sheep for my neighbor. When the Inquisition came through my village, I helped by telling them everything I knew about the area. Then I signed on. Wanted to see the world before it was swallowed up by... that... thing out there. What's been going on? Sister Liliana glanced at me today. I think she's gonna mm -hmm. have me killed. Nah. I have to go. She won't have you killed. Blackwall. So, this is Skyhold. It is. Come, let's walk the ramparts. I want to examine our fortifications. We'll be able to see Corypheus coming from miles away. He's not going to get the better of us again. We lost good soldiers that day, loyal men and women. And when he came after you, he really made it personal. I swear I'll take that twisted bastard down, even if I have to die to do it. All right, I think it is time to stop flirting with Black Wall. I don't think he is going to be our romance option for this Let's Play. You see this as a personal insult, don't you? If it's not personal for you, maybe it should be. The people flock to your banner, eager to fight for the Herald of Andraste. Their faith is a leash, and your Inquisition has taken hold of it. Tell me honestly, are you what they say you are? Andraste's chosen. There's so little I remember. What if they're right? Does it even matter? Don't you see what you are to them? Without you, they'd be consumed by despair. We all would. They need you to be Andraste's messenger. It gives them hope. The truth doesn't matter. Ah, uh, listen to me talk. Your time is valuable and I've wasted enough of it. Yes, you have. Alright. Uh, who do we have left? Majestic. Yeah. How is a place like this ever lost? Arden High Town. Oh, look at that. My multiplayer characters. Very nice. 
Uh, Colin, you are not here yet because you are still downstairs. Um, okay. The order was sent. Yes, Commander. Send men to scout the area. We need to know what's out there. Yes, sir. Commander, soldiers have been assigned temporary quarters. Very good. I'll need an update on the armory as well. Now! We set up as best we could at Haven, but could never prepare for an archdemon or whatever it was. With some warning, we might have... We were all shaken by what happened. If Corythia strikes again, we may not be able to withdraw. And I wouldn't want to. We must be ready. Work on Skyhold is underway. Guard rotations established. We should have everything on course within the week. We will not run from here, Inquisitor. How many were lost? Most of our people made it to Skyhold. It could have been worse. Morale was low, but it's improved greatly since you accepted the role of Inquisitor. Inquisitor Kadash. Fancy title for a surfacer. It sounds odd, don't you think? Not at all. Is that the official response? <laughs> I suppose it is. But it's the truth. We needed a leader. And you wow. have proven yourself. If we need to start over, Skyhold seems as good a place as any. Once repairs are completed, Again with the camera a strong angle. strong base of operations. I will do everything I can to ensure the security of our people. You have my word. Thank you. Um, look for coal. This thing is not a stray puppy you can make into a pet. It has no business being here. Wouldn't you say the same of an apostate? Inquisitor, I wondered if Cole was perhaps a mage, given his unusual abilities. He can cause people to forget him, or even fail entirely to notice him. These are not the abilities of a mage. It seems that Cole is a spirit. It is a demon. If you prefer, although the truth is somewhat more complex. I'm not sure how much more complexity I need, Solus. Indeed, my dear. He may call it whatever he likes, but it is still a threat. In fact, his nature is not so easily defined. Speak plainly, Solas. What are we dealing with? Demons normally enter this world by possessing something. In their true form, they look bizarre, monstrous. But Cole looks like a young man. Could it be possession? No. He has possessed nothing and no one. And yet he appears human in all respects. Cole is unique, Inquisitor. More than that, he wishes to help. I suggest you allow him to do so. Dwarves don't have much cause to learn about demon possession. What do you mean? Yes. Dwarves rarely draw the attention of spirits, possibly because of your ties to the stone. Spirits and demons cross over from the Fade by attaching themselves to something in this world. But Cole has willfully manifested in human form without possessing anyone. The demons who came through the breach, or through the rifts, weren't possessing anything. These demons were drawn through against their will, driven mad by this world. But Cole predates the breach. From what we can tell, he has lived here for months, perhaps years. He looks like a young man. For all intents and purposes, he is a young man. It is remarkable. I should hear what Cole has to say for himself. Where is he now? He was right. Haven. So many soldiers fought to protect the pilgrims so they could escape. Choking fear. Can't think from the medicine, but the cuts rack me with every heartbeat. Hot. White pain. Everything burns. I can't. I can't. I'm going to. 
I'm dying. I I'm... Dead. You're feeling their pain? It's louder this close, with so many of them. Would you like to go somewhere more comfortable? Yes, but here is where I can help. Every breath slower, like lying in a warm bath, sliding away. Smell of my daughter's hair when I kiss her goodnight. Gone. Cracked brown pain. Dry. Scraping. Thirsty. Here. Thank you. It's all right. She won't remember me. You're using your powers as a spirit to help people. Yes. I used to think I was a ghost. I didn't know. I made mistakes, but I made friends too. Then a Templar proved I wasn't real. I lost my friends. I lost everything. I learned how to be more like what I am. It made me different but stronger. I can feel more. I can help. If you're willing, the Inquisition could use your help. Yes. Helping. I help the hurt. The helpless. There's someone. Hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Someone make it stop hurting. Make her, please. The healers have done all they can. It will take him hours to die. Every moment will be agony. He wants mercy. Help. Right. All right. Help him. It's all right. I want to stay. The Forgotten Boy. Quest completed. Alright. I think it is time to go talk to Varric. We've talked to almost everybody else, except for Solus. And Vivian, but they can wait. Also, now that we are in Skyhold, maybe it's a good moment to change our appearance a little. Maybe change the hair color a little bit darker, a little bit more bluish. I don't know. We'll see. For now, let's talk to Varric. And I will do a very... What's, what's the difference here? I was going to say I will do a very simple custom hawk. Inquisitor, meet hawk. The champion of Kirkwall. Though I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him after all. Impressive view. Reminds me of my home in Kirkwall. I had a balcony that overlooked the whole city. I loved it at first. But after a while, all I could see were the people out there depending on me. You're lucky it was just a single city. I've got half of Thetis. You're doing everything you can to protect them. Does it ever get any easier? I'll let you know. I don't envy you, Inquisitor. But I may be able to help you. Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. 
The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. So Corypheus has the Venatori, the Red Templars, and now possibly the Wardens as well? Wonderful. I didn't come this far just to give you bad news. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Alistair. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. We've encountered red lyrium. Corypheus was using it to corrupt the Templars and turn them into his slaves. Hopefully, my friend in the Wardens will know more. I appreciate the help. I'm doing this as much for myself as for you. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. So, let's talk. You said you thought you killed Corypheus? The Grey Wardens had him imprisoned. They used my father's blood in a ritual to seal Corypheus inside. But he could still reach out and influence the Warden's thoughts. He sent them after me. And I didn't just think I killed him. When the fight was done, he was dead on the ground. Maybe his tie to the Blight somehow brought him back, or maybe it's all to Vinter Magic. But he was dead, I swear it. I assume Varric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition. What did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. I was a little surprised, actually. Varric isn't one for religion in general, but he thinks highly of the Inquisition. I think the exact phrase was, has a good shot at fixing Blondie's mess. Hmm. I'd like to know more about Anders. What was he like? I don't know if there ever was just an Anders. He was crazy. By the end, there was nothing left of him, except this insane need to start a war no one could win. Where did you go after the mages rebelled? I heard the Chantry might be sending an exalted march to Kirk to put down the rebellion. I hoped that leaving would save lives and force the Divine to divide her forces to come after me. As it turned out, I needn't have bothered. All the circles started rising up and the exalted march never came. I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? My brother's a Grey Warden. I had my friend Aveline take him as far from Morlaix as possible. When all the Wardens started acting strangely, I had to keep my family safe. Meryl is helping Elven refugees who were displaced by the war. I didn't want to take her away from that. Meryl spent enough time fighting for her life with me. We'll talk later. I'll meet you at Crestwood. Alright. That is Hawk. Who is left? Ah, we have, of course, Vivian left. Maker, you're a mess. Let me have a look at you. Are you all right, my dear? Were you hurt? You look dreadful. Actually, I changed. You should have seen me an hour ago. We should do something about this dirt. We don't need you frightening the faithful. Let's keep up appearances. You've handled this crisis competently, saving as many lives as you did. But the enemy struck a serious blow against you and the Inquisition. We must recognize that. You must. Ah, damn it. I don't want to say that, but we've been ch uh, choosing this particular emotion for the entire Let's Play. And I want to keep up with my character, so yeah. Sorry, Vivian. I'm not in need of guidance, Vivian. Good. Stay on your guard. Oh, she actually Our enemy approves. advances, Inquisitor. We must not sit idly by. Act first and teach them to fear us. I think you know what needs to be done, my dear. All right, and she's gone. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, let's go talk to Cassandra real, real quick again. Let's 
construction report. Here we go. You knew where Hawk was all along. You're damned right I did. You conniving little shit. You kidnapped me. You interrogated me. What did you expect? Mm, let's intervene. Hey, enough. You're taking his side? I said enough. We are we supposed to be the leader to after lead all. This inquisition. First, Liliana and I searched for the hero of Ferelden, but she had vanished. Then, we looked for Hawk, but she was gone too. We thought it all connected, but no. It was just you. You who kept her from us. The Inquisition has a leader. Hawk would have been at the Conclave if anyone could have saved Most Holy... You can't change the past, Cassandra. So I must accept... What? That the Maker wanted all this to happen? That he... That he... Varric is a liar, Inquisitor. A snake. Even after the Conclave, when we needed Hawk most, Varric kept her secret. She's with us now. We're on the same side. We all know whose side you're on, Varric. It will never be the Inquisition's. That's unworthy of you. I must not think of what could have been. We have so much at stake. Go, Varric. Just go. You know what I think? If Hawk had been at the temple, she'd be dead too. You people have done enough to her. I believed him. He spun his story for me and I swallowed it. If I just explained what was at stake, if I just made him understand. But I didn't, did I? I didn't explain why we needed Hawk. I'm such a fool. What if you hadn't believed him and you'd tracked Hawk down? Honestly, Hawk might not even have agreed to become Inquisitor. She supported the Mage Rebellion after all. She wouldn't have trusted me for a second. But this isn't about Hawk, or even Varric. Not truly. I should have been more careful. I should have been smarter. I don't deserve to be here. You're too hard on yourself, Cassandra. Not hard enough, I think. You can't believe that. I want you to know, I have no regrets. Maybe if we'd found Hawk or the hero of Ferelden, the Maker wouldn't have needed to send you. But he did. You're not what I'd pictured. But if I've learned anything, it's that I know less than nothing. All right. I think that was everybody except Solus. Um, we do have a couple of new companions. I don't think Cole already has decent armor. No, he does not. Neither has Dorian. Nope. Um, but anyway, we need to unlock some things like masterwork, crafting, um, specializations, stuff like that. So, so let's head into the war room real quick. Hey, Varric. I'll talk Watch. to you later. And... Let's unlock the things we need to progress in Skyhold.
All right, new Inquisition perks. Let's get... Um, more healing potions? Sure. Then we need... How are the rescue efforts? Have they found anyone alive? Excavation is slow, as you can imagine. I can ensure instruction for the legions who want to join, but can we expect the Inquisitor to remain a leader while training with a subordinate? She is a figure of inspiration and should rightly be one of the as be one of aspiration. Promoting a specialist from within the ranks seems lacking. With due respect to our people, the need of the heralds the needs of the herald are so specific, I recommend looking outside for the best combat specialist to be found, regardless of their affiliation. Sir Morris. Right. Then we need ooh, this will make it so that we can buy power. Which is good. And then we need the Arcanist. Skyhold has incredible potential for runecrafting and mastercraft smithing. If Any only on rifts beyond reach of the Inquisition. Yes. And it is not good. If only we had a gifted mind to gain full benefit. The War and the Venatori have claimed many experts, but we have located an Arcanist with great skill and a reputation for humbling first enchanters in both Andrassian and Imperial circles. Two assassination attempts and at least one explosion have made landholders reluctant to allow her passage through their territory. It will take significant effort to bring her from Tanter Vale, but this Arcanist would be invaluable to the Inquisition. All right, I um, think that's all we need for now. Yeah, that's all we need for now. Our specialization specialists. And I think that this will be everything for today. I'm trying to find a spot with some decent lights. This will be it for today. Uh, we did a lot of talking with our companions. We didn't do a whole lot of exploring. Um, in between episodes, I will go and update everybody's armor and weapons. And next episode, we are going to see if we can find a specialization, talk some more to our companions, and explore some more of Skyhold. But this has been everything for today i want to thank you all very much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye bye